Marlon, it is a pleasure to meet you. Hey, thanks. Nice to see you. You gave me the Requiem love. Good, man. That is one of the best roles I've ever seen on film. Well, thank you. You know what? That was uh, Darren Aronofsky, man. He's a great Jeez. director. I got lucky. No, actually, I worked my ass off to get that part. You can tell. I worked my ass off to get that part. Said, I, I actually interviewed him. I asked him about your particular role. You went and auditioned for that role, right? I auditioned five times. He's like, I don't want no dude <laughs> on the Frog Network <laughs> in my movie. Oh, wins, brother. Oh, hell nah. And um, so, you know, I was like, I had to prove it. I had to read for this. I mean, end of the day, uh, for me, I go, it's okay to show people what you do. People initially are going to go, oh, you do this. And you just gotta show, you no, know, I do more, I'm an actor. That, so I happen to be born in a family full of comedians, but at the end of the day, I'm a theatrically trained actor. They don't know that, you gotta prove it. I gotta ask you about, I mean, I got a girl going, trust me, I got nice feet, and you're going, I gotta see them. <laughs> so, I hate feet, you like feet? It depends on what feet you're talking about. Yeah, let's Some see frog feet and they got the one with a big old bunion that you can see yourself in. Yeah, that, those remember, ain't cool. Remember Don't Be a Menace when he was licking the feet with the hot sauce? <laughs> that was the most disgusting. <laughs> you scene. ain't lying. I'm happy it wasn't me. I'm happy Sean had to do that one. <laughs> well, I gotta say, a pleasure to meet you. And by the way, big budget action movies versus the other movies you've done. You know, what, what, what's the difference? You like, like, Requiem for a Dream, small Trail budget. Service is a whole lot better. Right. Trailers are a whole lot bigger. Um, but at the end of the day, I don't mean the movie's gonna be the greatest. I just so happened to get lucky with Requiem, and I got lucky with G.I. Joe, because I think they're both great movies. I, and I think Steven is Steven's best movies. People um, was doubting it, but I just think even the fanboys that would probably want to stuff a G.I. Joe comic book up Steven's ass if he got it wrong, I think they're going to be happy. And uh, I think he did a great job, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you so much, man. It's a pleasure you, meeting you. Thank buddy. you. You're amazing. Thank you.